Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to separate teeth using ligature wire. When I started out with my orthodontic practice, the separator material was a 0.028 brass ligature wire. But brass ligatures are very difficult to find these days. I use a modified tooth separator by using a 0.011 ligature wire to replace the brass ligature. I cut an 8 inch long ligature wire, joined both ends, twisted it until it becomes stout. I then cut both ends to keep it sharp. I then bend one end of the twisted wire into a hook. I inserted the wire between the second premolar and the first molar typical to the contact points or the contact area. You have to be gentle and careful when doing this maneuver so as not to excessively traumatize the proximal area of tissue. With a wine guard plier, you grab the end of the wire that exited at the lingual area. Gently pull the wire over the occlusal towards the buckle. Join both ends of the wire, twist until it is tight. The patient can perceive the tightness as discomfort. That's my clue to stop. I then cut the excess wire, leaving about 2 millimeters. With a wire tucker, I tuck back the excess wire towards the proximal area. Why am I not using elastic separator? Number one, if the contact is super tight, then it would be impossible for you to insert the elastic separator without cutting it. Number two, if the patient does not come back for his or her scheduled band insertion appointment, then the elastic separators could fall off and then the space will close again. Number three, it's very cheap, and of course, as far as I'm concerned, number four, it is the most efficient way of separating teeth after brass ligature wire. The one thing I like about this technique is that after 15-30 minutes, you can remove the separators and then insert the band. I hope you learned something from this video that could help you in your orthodontic practice. Thank you for watching.